Welcome to Kakariko Airport. We're going to begin my island tour, finally. This is the 3.0 version of my island. So it's kind of the, th the third major revision to my island, and it's mostly done. There's just literally two flowers that need to grow, and then it will be in its finished state for the third revision. Um, sorry about the delay. The delay was literally because of those flowers, which will go actually uh, go here actually and just look at that first, because um, it's right in the opening area. So when you come out from the airport, there's kind of like a little entryway. Um, those are the flowers right there. There's that one that's budding, and then there's that empty spot right next to me there that's that's the reason for the delay there were a lot less flowers than that there before and i wanted it to look more complete um, but everything else is looking good now um so yeah there's just a little entry area away here um whenever i'm doing a kanukazan order or something like that and people are meeting me on my island i wanted just kind of like a little entryway so that i can meet them here i can block the bridge so they can't go in and start ruining my flowers it's generally how it works i'm always paranoid that's going to happen um, but yeah, let's let's uh, do this. The first kind of area here, um, outside of the entryway, is just four paths to go on. Um, as you see, there's actually angled signs in each corner of this area, pointing to different areas of interest to go on my island, from the airport to a beach, the museum, my house. We're actually going to the left here first. This is the first residential area. We have Nibble's house. And we have Phil's house right here. And it has a nice little view of the entryway with those windmills because it's important to have clean energy on this island. It's one island, we have to take care of it after all. If we go to, actually we'll go to the left this time. Um, this is my second take, so this time we're going to go to the left first. This is the beach area, which is met with a uh, cherry orchard first. Um, the beach area, just for relaxing, you can kind of just lay down on the beach here listen to the waves coming in and then down here there's also some more beach chairs which I'm going to put coconut drinks on those side tables pretty soon I just didn't want to get rid of any of the coconuts for the tour oh there's a flower budding right there um so yeah so if I head back over here we're actually gonna head to this kind of town plaza now where all my stores are right now i have red lilies here but i do want to switch those to black lilies um, once i get enough to put in here uh, just because i feel like it would match the aesthetic better where i kind of have the black park clock the black um, fountain the black um, phone box so i'd like it to kind of all match there oh and the anchor as well up there hey nibbles there's nibbles right there so yeah there's my kind of town plaza area if we head right out, it'll be right at Resident Services. But we're going to head south right now. It branches off again here. And this is going to be Stu's place. Stu is a fitness fanatic. He is also incredibly bougie, as you can tell. Because he has a pool right next to water. And then he's also right on the ocean. Which is, like, ludicrous. But hey, Stu can do what Stu wants to do. Over here is Molly's place. This originally was just a campground, but I wanted to give Molly a special place to live because she's my favorite. That is not Molly. That is Sandy. And she's looking at a tree. <laughs> um, yeah, actually, there's Molly down there. Molly's my favorite. That's Teddy. Molly's right here. She's just this cute little duck. And I love her. And her catchphrase is Puya Boy because... She asked me what her catchphrase should be, and I said her catchphrase should be Puyo Boy. I don't know why. I think I was thinking of Puyo Puyo Tetris at the time. <laughs> um, anyways, that's Molly's place. Um, the beaches are pretty straightforward. They're basically just coconut trees all over the place. Um, the reason for that is just I don't have a lot of places to put cherry trees or really any sort of fruit tree in my island, so I just line the heck out of the beaches with tons and tons of coconut trees. So they're just all over the place. Over here is another residential area. Um, you can kind of peer out into the ocean through the spectacles here. And then there's also a little tiny library because reading is important. This house here is Bacon's house. She's got a nice little clay oven up there, but also a nice hammock to lay down in and listen to the music. And then right above Bacon is Sandy. Sandy is who we saw at Molly's house. She's an ostrich. Um, 
and I just think it's funny to give her a birdhouse and bird bath. I don't know why. It makes me laugh. Over here, um, there's just kind of a display of the Lily of the Valley flowers. These are just special flowers to me because you get them only when you have a five-star island. And for me, that was a big accomplishment. I had to rework a lot of my island to get it to be five stars. Um, so I have that here. It's also entrance way to the beach. But again, that's just more coconut trees, so we won't bother with that. Um, up here is Sherry's house. This is the uh, Valley of Flowers, but I'm going to change this. I'm, I kind of want to go for a spooky aesthetic here because I really want to get Sherry out and put another animal um, villager called Lucky in. Lucky is a mummy dog, and so I'm going to put candles instead of uh, wherever there's a flower, there's going to be a candle. I already have the tombstone back over there, and I'm going to put kind of more Halloween items as opposed to, like, potted plants and garden chairs. Um, it's going to be spookier and darker, so I'm, I'm excited to do that. But that's a four, Island 4.0 project, so... That'll take a while. Um, up here is my rock garden. Also, my private island, because that's where Red comes to visit. This took a little while to, to get all my rocks over here, but it was worth it. It just means I don't have to run around the island to find a bunch of rocks all the time. And then also up here is the secret campsite, which we will see towards the end of the tour. But keep in mind that paper lantern right there with the um, kind of icon of the bird and the branch. And it's important to find the secret entrance. If we head down, we're actually gonna circle back into the town square shortly. As you can see, there's resident services right here. There's another residential area back here, another kind of campground site. This is for Teddy here and Gonzo here. Um, Gonzo's a koala bear. He's pretty awesome. But let's head back into the kind of town center. Because one thing we didn't see last time was the museum. This is something I've kind of had on my island early on, which was all of the waterfalls. But I added in this stone pattern in the middle, as well as the, um, the white garden benches, the tall rocks, and the... Uh, actually, I think I had the blossom cherries there before. The cherry blossom on there before. So that's my museum. We won't bother going into it because a museum in Animal Crossing is literally just the same as every other island. It's not any different, really. <clears throat> and then, um, last but not least, the last part of the island here is the bamboo forest. Um, this is going to be kind of up in two sections here. One is this entryway area that branches off into my house. But before we go there, we're going to go up to Billy's house. And Billy's got a nice little kind of private private area here to himself. But he is right next to the satellite tower because that's how you get internet on the island. Now that we have these phones, you need uh, you need it. So, you know, it's important to have that. Another important thing that's over here, too, is the lighthouse, because we certainly do not want anything crashing into the island. Oh, I actually realized on the other side of the island, I forgot to show you, I got Stonehenge today. So I put Stonehenge over by my rock garden, but it's, it's not worth seeing, it's fine. Um, this is the entrance to my house. I wanted it to be very grand. As you can see, it is. I even have, this is a small little detail, when I go to check my mailbox, I also get a view of the museum, which I think is actually kind of cool. But, let's go and take a look at my house. Oh wait, before that, you notice these lanterns? I have a few lanterns over here that are the same as the one by the campsite. And that's because this is the path to the secret entrance. It's actually back over here, kind of hidden and tucked away. Once you get back here, you just take your ladder, you go down, and I call this running on water. You basically run across the entire back end of the island, and then you end up over here. And there's actually really not much over here. This is just kind of more of me tucking things away that I don't want to be in my main island. Like, the campsite here is kind of worthless once you have 10 villagers on your island. It's primarily used to get new villagers. Um, so it, it gets nice to have, but I for getting lucky, like I was talking about earlier, but I don't really feel like I need to have it there all the time. Whereas, like, the shops, I do. 
Um, I also am using this to grow flowers. As I said, I wanted to make the town plaza have black lilies. Those are the only two black lilies out of the 42 that I need to fill up the town plaza. So it'll take a while, but it's happening. Um, these red lilies will eventually um, spawn a black lily somewhere within the square here. Um, it just is a 25% every single chance every single day that they'll show up. And then I also have money trees over here, so once these grow, money will grow off of them, and I can uh, pick the money up. Um, so yeah, that's the secret kind of um, campsite area. It's really actually not anything special. I just wanted to tuck things away, but it's kind of cool to me that I have this like, secret. Let's go back to my house, though. We'll round off the tour there. Again, grand entrance. Gotta have the lion statues. And the first room that we're gonna come to is the game room. It's gonna have the billiard table, pool table. It's got some arcade games. It's also got darts. And then I just got this imperial dining table for snacks because it's very important to be snacking up while you're playing your games. I also have records all along the wall. I have to complete this back wall over here. But once that's filled in, then it'll, the, this room will basically be done. We'll go to the basement first, just because it's the least interesting room in the whole house. It is... It's just turnip storage. I just use it to store turnips. That's basically what I use this for. And the reason is that um, I was having a hard time getting a three-star island in Animal Crossing because... If you have more than 15 items on the ground or even on benches like they are here in my basement, it Isabel will tell you you can't get three stars because there's too much clutter in your island. So I just wanted to tuck all this stuff out of the way because you don't get points dinged against your house for having this here. So, Or maybe you do, but it hasn't been an issue yet. So that's the turnip storage. To the left here, I have my bedroom, which are just kind of hobbled together, but it's what it is right now. I'll probably be changing it. There's a few things I don't like, how like the stereo is just on the floor. I'd like that to be on something. Um, I also don't really care for the bed that much. I don't think it goes. Like it's, I don't know, it just doesn't work for me. But in time, I got time. Across from my bedroom is the bathroom which is the room that's probably changed the least. It's always been a bathroom. It's always generally looked like this, as you're about to see. The only thing new here is the whirlpool in the middle. But ultimately, it's just... It's just a bathroom. But I do have a bidet. Because I'm bougie. Very bougie. And a tankless toilet. Again, very bougie. Actually, this is a pretty bougie bathroom. You got a bidet, a tankless toilet, and a whirlpool. That's pretty bougie. And then in the north side of the house up here is the kitchen, which I just finished recently, and I like the way it turned out. We've got the ironwood aesthetic to it with the cabinets and the kitchenette, which is this guy right here. And then you also just have this like kind of diner booth looking thing with the white box sofa is what it's called and then the um, black diner table. Also got a board game on there because in my house, my real life house, we always have a board game on the dining room table for the most part, always. Um, so I just wanted to carry that in here. I thought that would be kind of cool. So that's the kitchen. And then the last room is upstairs. And this is my favorite room in the house and where we're gonna end the tour. It's the living room. So we've got also living room slash office. I kind of have my office back over here with the world map and my formal papers as they are called in Animal Crossing. We got signatures from all the celebs I've met. I don't know who any of those people are, but um, they're celebs. And then on this side, we have my Nintendo Switch, the Animal Crossing edition. And we also have just kind of all the trophies I've gotten for, for my house in the game. And then I can just sit here and watch the tube. And that 
ladies and gentlemen, is Kakariko and my house on Animal Crossing. Thank you so much for joining. 